everybody, I'm David. This is Final Touch Auto Detailing, and today we're going to be working on this Toyota minivan. Now, this is a 2011. Got a little bit of dirt and pretty much everywhere, but we're going to get into this thing and show you what it's all about, let you check it out a little bit further. And so I want to kind of show you some things, mostly pertaining to like under seats and in tighter areas. You don't always have to take everything apart, and sometimes you do, but sometimes if you just be a little bit creative and get the right tools for the job, you can be very thorough. So let's get into this. We're going to be using a little camera today. And I want to kind of show you as much as I can show you under here. There is, oh, I see a quarter or nickel or something. Some little fun crumbs. Let's, uh, let's look underneath there from the front. I feel like we can get a smaller camera in there a little better. Yeah. I think we can see that pretty well. We're just going to keep filming with this for a minute. All right, so we got all kinds of dirt in the glove box and then up here. And this customer was awesome and they took everything out for me. Sometimes I... I like to ask folks if they, they want me to take everything out of the glove box or what. If it looks like it makes good sense, then we'll definitely do that. But I don't like to rifle through people's personal effects. Everything down in that little framework down there. Now these seats, Now these seats will slide way forward and way backwards and I'm pretty sure at least most of these Sienna vans the seats pop out of there pretty easily so when it comes to getting this stuff cleaned out when the seats come out easier it gives me a lot more room to work so there's a little bit of a blessing in disguise. And you see all the seat there. There's a lot of, so basically what happens is, yeah, you got dirt and body oils on your skin and you'll rub that in. It happens. Uh, steam cleaning and a gentle cleaner will take care of that quite easily. And then in these tracks, yeah, that's gonna, we're gonna be able to get all that mess cleaned out pretty easy with some steam and good old compressed air. Make sure I get a really bright light in there. But yeah, you'll be able to see that when I pop these seats out. Let's go look at the back. In the back here, that's one of the most awesome things about these vans anymore is like they're designed so you got some cargo space, but the seats will also drop down into the back end, making it nice and flat. Turn that light back on, you can see a little better. But yeah, just kind of fun stuff everywhere. We're gonna to try to make this thing look as brand new as possible. Uh, anytime I'm doing interior only or exterior only, kind of the overlapping point will be the door frames, door jams or what. And then we get all that just dust and dirt that seems to collect there for you. So I'm gonna stop yakking and start getting to work. So let's let you check out the driver's side over here as well. A lot of, a lot of little bits of dirt and everywhere in here. And then the steer wheel has definitely seen some better days. Of course your hands get dirty and you just get dirt everywhere. It happens. 
but that's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna stop yakking and start getting some work done. Alrighty guys, we are all done with this Sienna van. Got the floor mats taken out. They slip underneath the plastic trim here. The, if you've got a Sienna van, you probably know. Uh, I think I got a shot or two of this without the seats in it. If I didn't, that's my mistake. Anyhow, we got, it kind of looks like a face. Maybe a disappointed face. Hope it's not disappointed. Carpets cleaned up out of there. We didn't like shampoo or extract the carpets or what. Just did a very thorough blowing out and vacuuming. Inside that little cubby, whatever you call that, in here, I don't think I really pointed that out, but whenever I got to looking in that part of the door jam, minivans can be hard to get into. Uh, of course, all the, the door jams down in the door pockets in your little grabby thing, whatever you call that, grabby thing. Don't know if you can tell how much cleaner the seats are. That was one thing that took me the most time on this vehicle was how rough the seats were, but they're a lot better now. I'll throw a little clip on there where we show before and after side by side of those WeatherTech mats. Um, got inside there. Let's go to the other side. Our other side over here, kind of a similar situation. Uh, the steering wheel had actually, I mean, it's, it's seen some miles. I'm not sure how many miles, but you know, when your hands rub a lot, um, we were starting to have the dye rubbed off. Lucky for me, I did a uh, Toyota Highlander not, I think it was last year, where I re-dyed all the seats and I had some left over and it's the same color. So. We're able to put a little bit of dye back on there. I didn't want to get crazy with it because one, that takes a lot of time. Two, I don't know if the customer is willing to pay for it, but it's not as bad looking. I'll tell them about it whenever they pick it up. Similar situation on this side. I mean, just, it was dirt and it's not dirt anymore. Got everything all in the little fun stuff. I mean, it makes it a lot easier when these seats just go and pop right out. How's that sound go again, Dave? Uh, yeah, all that and that to the back side, back in here, and in the very back, all this was really rough back here. Go through there, try not to go too fast. Got a little bit of scuffies on some of the plastic, but otherwise, I mean, it looks great. Uh, inside that handle there. And inside that handle had this one on the right was a lot worse, but uh, I'll stop yakking. And uh, the owner's on the way, so we'll see you next time.